Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Hattie Homemaking. So in today's video I wanted to go through my Fly Lady app and show you how I finally mastered the setup for my life and my home so that it actually works for me and I've gone through a period of using Fly Lady where it really really for the first time it really has helped and organised me. I feel like it's great for people who work and just people who generally don't want to spend too much time thinking about the cleaning. I don't always follow it to a T but it is really useful as a guide. It reminds me to clean a lot of the little things that I might forget and it stops me getting into a rut where I just clean the same things over and over again and then the same things get missed. So I really really recommend the Fly Lady app if you've not already used it. I have made a couple of videos now on the Fly Lady app and so many of you seem to enjoy the videos and I think it goes to show that it really is something that works it's something that's gaining a lot of popularity and I think that's really great because for so long now people have viewed cleaning as something that really hinders their life something that's just an additional chore and I feel like through apps like this it really helps us to reflect and just have a little bit more time to focus our attention in different areas and feel more organized and feel more on top of things and also make it a lot more manageable and when things are more manageable we're going to enjoy them a lot more as well so I just wanted to take you through my app today to show you how I've got it set up hopefully to give you a little bit of inspiration obviously you will not set it up the exact same as me you will have your own needs and your own home but hopefully it will show you different ways you can edit it in order to fit your own life and hopefully it will just give you that inspiration that you need to go and tailor it to your own needs so I really hope you enjoy this video as always if you do enjoy it please do give it a thumbs up so I, I know that you have enjoyed it and I know to do more of these videos in the future so without talking too much I'm just going to get straight on into the video where I show you how I've set up my Fly Lady app. Okay so I'm just going to go to the Fly Lady app and show you how I've got everything set out at the moment. So first of all I'm going to start with the routines. So this is the section that I've probably been enjoying from the very very start of when I started using Fly Lady it was the section I just got straight away and saw instant improvements with. The zones is something that took me a bit of time but now I think I finally mastered um, changing it and altering it to my own lifestyle and my own home and it took me about an evening of just working out all the different zones in my home and just really allocating everything obviously with me I only live in a bungalow and I don't have any children yet so I didn't have the need for some of the zones on there so I really had to have a think about how I could change it up but I'll get to that in a little bit so first of all I'm just going to show you my routines so let's start with the morning routine I've actually not ticked that yet and I actually didn't do this this morning as well that's the other thing I found with the fly lady routines is for me they work best as a guide so some days I have days where I just don't have the energy to do everything on my list and that's absolutely fine so I'm just going to reset this morning routine just so you can see a little bit easier the things I've set out for myself. So the very first thing I do every morning is make my bed and I feel like this just sets me up for the day. In my home my bedroom is actually downstairs so I have to make it and if I don't make it then I really really do feel. The effects are feeling very slobby. The next is I get ready and dressed for the day. So like I mentioned in my previous videos, I do like to get dressed every day and I do like to do my makeup as well. The thing on the Fly Lady app I have changed about this is it says to get dressed two shoes every single morning but personally for me I don't like wearing shoes in the home so I usually wear slippers but what I do is I do have a think about where I'm going to go that day and what shoes if any it requires so if I'm not going out I'm more than happy just to wear my slippers all day or I will plan some boots or if I'm going into the garden I will plan to wear my wellies and just different things like that I just try and have a think about that. The next thing I do is empty the dishwasher so we do have a little table 
the top dishwasher now and we also hand wash as well so that just is putting every dish away that might have been air drying or was in the dishwasher from the last night. The next thing I like to do is put in a laundry load so again I don't need to do this every morning at the moment there's only me and Paul and we don't create that much laundry I do wear outfits more than one day in the week I like to get my wear out of things so I probably put in a laundry load maybe four out of the seven days so two of those days will be clothes one white and one colours then the other two loads will be towels and the other one will be bed sheets the next thing I have to do, of course Murphy would not let me forget it, is I feed Murphy. So this actually isn't an order, I feed Murphy pretty much straight away as I'm making my cup of tea and then I drink my cup of tea as I'm getting ready. And then finally as well, if it needs doing, I will just quickly clean the toilet and the bathroom sink. Because obviously I wear makeup most days and then I take off of an evening and I use like a cream cleanser, it tends to stick to the outside of my sink so I like to just make sure that's all clean and that's it for my morning routine so now I'm gonna go if I can to my afternoon routine so there isn't much on here I try and keep it simple for the afternoon routine I do work so a lot of this is either done at lunchtime while I'm working from home or as soon as I get in through the door so I don't want it to be too strenuous first of all I just reboot my laundry which means putting things away from yesterday and then also taking the things out of the washer and putting it on an air dryer or the tumble dryer I have got exercise on there I can't say I do it every day but I have it on there to remind me if I've got the time and I'm having a good day for energy then I will do 15 minutes of either a walk or a little bit of pilates just something to get my body moving the next thing I do is 15 minutes of zone cleaning so I will show you the zones I have set up um, but it's just 15 minutes a day it is so achievable and that's what I love about the fly lady app as well the next thing I do is plan what's for dinner and if I can I'll prep any ingredients and then finally this is more a spring summer thing I'm sure I can delete this when it gets a little bit worse in the winter time but it's just watering my seedlings and I really really am into my gardening at the moment so this watering of the seedlings often turns into a good half an hour spent outside. Okay so now I'm going to go to the evening routine. So the first thing I do is once I've had my dinner I will straighten up the main areas. So Paul actually does the dishes every night. I'm very very grateful to him for helping me with that. So all I really have to do is cleaning the surfaces and just generally folding any blankets, putting away pillows, things like that. Then I will do my skincare and my teeth and then, well I do my, we have a little routine in this house so while I'm doing my skincare and my teeth it's a whole ordeal, I have multiple steps, even with my teeth I have to use this um, like pressure flosser thing, I'm high maintenance what can I say, <laughs> so while I'm doing that Paul does the dishes and then we swap over so he will then go into the bathroom and then I will put the kitchen to bed and that is just cleaning the sink and the the surfaces and then finally I'll have a bath or a shower a lot of the times it is a bath because like I say I'm high maintenance <laughs> okay oh yeah okay now into the weekly home blessing so this should take about an hour and you do it every week so all you have to do is hoover dust mop your floors clean mirrors and doors, change bed sheets. So I keep that on there as a reminder if I haven't done it in the week. Sometimes my bed sheets will just be included in my morning laundry load. So I don't have to think about it, but I just keep it on there as a reminder. And then also I have empty all trash. Paul again takes care of the rubbish for me. So I don't need to do that so much, but again, I'll just keep it on there as a reminder if it does need doing on the day I happen to do my weekly home blessing. Okay, so now let's have a look at my zones. So there are five different zones. So as you can see, I have tried my best to distribute out the work evenly. So at the moment, this is the current zone. So it's my extra bedroom, my laundry. I don't have a laundry room, so I've adapted that. Um, my bathroom, 
the next zone coming off is zone four and that is Paul's wardrobe and the master bedroom since that is all one room. I then have for zone five the office and the living room and zone one is um, the Welsh dress, dre uh, that's hard to say, the Welsh dresser and shelves. So I have to dust all my teapots and things like that. They do like to collect dust. My entrance, my garden and then zone two is my kitchen. So I have my kitchen just that is it in itself just the zone because there's so much to do for it so I think I'll start with zone one just going through each thing and what I do so the first for the Welsh dresser and shelves all I have to do is dust everything on there clean the dresser itself then I move on to the shelves and do the exact same thing and also above my kitchen cabinets now I have a couple of teapots and fairy lights so I just like to go up there and give that a good clean as well the next thing for zone one is the entrance. So I have to clean any cobwebs. If you watch my home tour, there's a really funny moment where above my Welsh dresser, there's a spider and it really makes me jump. <laughs> I then move on to dusting the window sills and I like to give my front door a bit of a dust down and clean as well. I then like to clean my skirting board. So I'm sure you will all be the same at home when you get in and you take off any dirty shoes, they might just scrape the side of the skirting board. Boards. so I like to just give that a good clean. Next I just straighten up the coat closet. I like how a lot of the wording in this is American. <laughs> some of them I've changed but some of them I've obviously kept in and in my um, coat sort of closet <laughs> I just keep all my coats, any gloves, scarves and hats, things like that. And then on there which I think is really lovely is it has add your own personal touches to make it more welcoming and I love that because it just reminds you just to spend a minute moving things around, maybe putting some seasonal decor, maybe you can put a wreath or just something that's going to change it up a little bit and make you feel extra homely as you walk through the door. So that is zone one. Now let's go to zone two. As you can see, I didn't finish everything. So I um, have left these couple of things. Actually, I can tick that and I can tick that because I did do that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I didn't manage to get round to doing those three things um, last time. So I'm just going to reset this and show you what I do for my kitchen. So first of all, I empty the refrigerator and just give it a good clean. I like to clean my microwave inside and out. I clean my stove, <laughs> I nearly said my stubborn. I clean my stove and my oven. I then clean any drawers and cupboards. So the idea for this one is you do a couple at a time. That's not meant to be like one task all at once, obviously. I've got quite a big kitchen. So to do that in 15 minutes would be pretty impossible for me. I then have on there wipe down walls. So this is what I didn't do before because I just, I've never, this is actually really bad. I feel like you're all going to judge me, but I've never wiped down my walls before. And I gave it a Google and apparently the best thing to wipe walls that are painted is just a tiny bit of fairy liquid and water that is like warm but not too hot because then it can take the paint off. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> Next is to wash the inside window and also to clean the fan above your stove as well. I then like to clean my tiles. I have made this one up myself. So get down low and clean skirting and under boards. Sometimes in my kitchen, we're just messy cooks. I don't know what it is, but things get on the floor. And sometimes all you can do to clean that is get down your hands and knees and give it a good scrub. Next is to clean and tidy under the sink. So this is currently where I keep my cleaning products. Soon I am going to get my table top dishwasher put under the sink. So that will become a task that I don't need to do anymore and I can delete it. And then finally, I've got clean pet dishes on that. I do that like most days anyway. But again, I've just kept it on there as a reminder. Okay, so now let's go to zone three, which is what we're on now. So extra bedroom. Let me reset it again. This is going to be quite difficult. I'll have to remember which ones are ticked. <laughs> okay, so first of all, clean cobwebs. I also like to clean my window. 
in my bedrooms I have two huge windows as you might have seen because they're doors out into the garden so this is a big task. It also gets quite mouldy around there as well because obviously the cold air from outside meeting the hot air from inside so I really do have to keep on top of that. Next is to straighten drawers and closet, put any clothes away, just make sure it's all organised properly. I like to keep my dresses together, tops together, things like that so I'll just make sure that's all done. Put away any stray, stray items and then I also like to clean the inside um, of my closet and then also air it out so I like to open the back doors, leave all my wardrobe, wardrobe doors open and just give it a good air out just to prevent any mould build up against all my clothes. Okay now we're going to go to the laundry section so again I'm just going to reset that. So first of all, I just wipe down the top of the washer and the dryer. I then like to clean any gunk from the washer lid. So if you haven't done this or if you've let it build up, you will know it gets pretty monkey <laughs> inside your washing machine little tray. So I like to take that out and give it a good clean. I then put away any clothes, clean the inside of the washer. So personally, I do this with just a cap full of Sephora on a really, really hot wash. I've then just put a, a miss miscellaneous thing because I was like, I didn't know where else to put this. So this is just to clean out the hoover and make sure it was all um, clean and not collecting any dust. And then finally, just to clean the tumble dryer filter. Now moving on to the bathroom. So because I do clean my um, toilet and sink most mornings, there's not that much to do, especially because um, mopping and vacuuming is on the weekly blessing. So all I have to do is clean out the shower, the bath. I do a little mold spray. I also make sure there's not any stained parts in the grout and I'll just bleach any parts that are looking a little bit discolored. And then finally, I'll just straighten the drawers where I keep all my beauty bits. Now we're going on to zone four. So I just clean out Paul's wardrobe, tidy it up, tidy the drawers, air out the cupboard as I explained that I do for mine. And then also Paul keeps his shoes at the bottom of his wardrobe. So I like to just clean that up and make sure there's no dirt or dust building up at the bottom. Then for the master bedroom, again, it's simple because a lot of the cleaning is done in the weekly blessing so I just clean the cobwebs. I like to hoover my mattress, you might have seen me do this in some of my clean with me videos and sometimes I put bicarb of soda over it and then hoover it up and also flip it over if needed. Again the same as my other bedroom I like to wash the window. I've then got just a reminder to clean my makeup bits and brushes just because they can get pretty dirty if I forget to do that and then finally just organise the bedside tables. Okay, and now finally, we're on to zone five. So first of all, the office. So I like to just clean the desks, throw away any pens that don't work and throw out shredding. So obviously we shred any confidential waste. So there's things there. Throw away any unneeded receipts. I was so bad in the past. I never used to keep my receipts, but now I'm really good. I throw them all into um, a drawer. So this is just to remind me to go through them and just stop them building up to a really like crazy point where I won't even know what anything is. The next thing is to clean monitor screens and laptops. You need to remember to do this honestly guys if you use your laptop every day it's just going to be full of germs so make sure you do remember to disinfect that and then to file any paperwork. And then last but definitely not least is the living room. Again, clean cobwebs <laughs> and clean the window. I like to straighten up the bookcase. I'm really into reading at the moment so the books can get a little bit crazy. I like to dust any ornaments and knickknacks. Isn't that just a great word? Dust knickknacks. <laughs> and then straighten up any drawers in there. Again, I've got the fingerprints from the walls. I feel like this part about wiping your walls is going to be a lot more relevant when I do have children obviously me and Paul don't really touch the walls much with mucky hands so yeah it doesn't really need to be done I've also got reminded to clean my phone again like your laptop I use my phone daily and I will press it to my face if I'm talking to someone and obviously it's going to harbour a lot of bacteria I've then got to clean under the cushions clean out the fireplace and then I like to 
move the furniture and make sure I'm hoovering around the back of sofas and things like that. And then finally, shampoo my carpet. I have a very fluffy rug in my living room that does need a proper clean. And then that is everything. That's how I've got my Fly Lady app set up. And this so far is really, really working for me. Obviously, it's going to be different for everyone, but that is what's working for me at the moment. Okay, so that is how I've got my Fly Lady app all set up, working for me. I really hope that was useful to you. I hope you can take something from it. I'm going to leave this video here now because I know I've been talking at you for a long time now. I feel like a lot of my videos are more showing you things, cooking, baking, cleaning, and this was a much more chatty video. So my voice is now hurting. I have been monologuing for a good couple of minutes. So I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it's been useful. Please do subscribe if you have enjoyed this video and you enjoy homemaking content and I will see you in my next video.